<laughs> oh man, he's inside. I never locked that door. Or did I? Did I lock the door? No! Get the f out! Gotta go to work. I gotta clock in for the midnight shift. Playing a horror game called Midnight Shift. Now I've played one before called The Closing Shift, but apparently this is a different shift. Yeah! I'm just dragging my feet because dude, getting scared can be exhausting. So I'm just I'm just jamming out until I feel comfortable. Play Oregon Trail. Alright! Alright. This is called the midnight shift i guess we're working midnight shift at a gas station convenience store i got i got i'm gonna be honest i feel like there's at least 50 games with the same premise hey what game did you play last night played uh played that one where you work at a convenience store at a gas station okay i'm gonna need you to be more specific as much as i love this music we gotta move on dude i could listen to that music all night this reminds me of the vhs store uh vhs massacre i think is what it was called is that us it's weird to see third person in, in these indie horror games. Shattered Glass Games presents a game by Shattered Glass. Midnight Shift, rated R. Can you guys even hear my voice? I feel like this music is so f***ing loud. I can't hear my own voice, it's so loud. And uh, we just absorbed into our body. So now the game is in fact first person. All right, before we go in, before we start our shift, uh, let me just take a look around, kind of soak in the scenery a little bit. Can we open that? Door latch lock is set. Say that 10 times fast. Door lock 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 is set. Door latch lock is set. Lock lick lock latch set. Feed me, feed me your trash. Imagine if Oscar the Grouch upgraded from that little ass trash can to a full on dumpster. You living in luxury. Flashlight? Do we have a flashlight now? No. Can we climb the ladder? No, but I'm guessing we'll have to go up there at some point. There's no way they would put a ladder going up to the roof if that wasn't part of the game later on. What the hell was that? I heard something. Hey, why are these windows steamed up? Hey, what's going on in there? Draw me like one of your French girls, Jack. Hey, no hanky panky in the parking lot. You're gonna have to take it somewhere else. What's this place called? Okay, it's not the quickie mark. It's the quick stop. Quick stop, but it looks like two Uix stop. Maybe it's French. Okay, what year is this? Can someone check to see what year this was made in? Because this definitely isn't 2023 with these gas prices. Oh my God, look at that. Diesel is only $1.37. I'm doing my, my pre-shift checklist. Sometimes you have to walk around, inspect the grounds, make sure everything's up to code. All right, place looks good. Nice and neat, safe and sound. All right, let's go to work. Oh, dude, you remember these? Where you, where you um, you, know, you put the quarter in and then the, the gumball goes around and around. It's like, come on. Just, just give me it. Give me the fucking ball. Like I'm not, I'm not here to, to watch a little roller coaster in action. I want, I just want gum to go from the machine and then into my hand and then into my mouth. I don't need all this extra pageantry. All right, we have Loca Cola, Santa, Sprat, not Sprite. Okay, I swear to God, if you call this Sprite, you're getting hit with a copyright strike. Okay, this is Sprat and then water. Okay, looks like someone shit on the floor. Actually, no, this is uh, like scuff marks. Uh, well, this could be shit, but like right here, these are like scuff marks. All these uh, dudes going in here with their work boots on, dragging their feet. Okay, let's try this, guys. All right. Ahem. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. Nothing. Not yet. All right. Uh, ready to start my shift. Oh, that's not good. Anytime we have to hide in a locker, it's like, oh my God. It's like Outlast. Why is my heart racing? Is that part of being in the locker? Instant heart rate spike when you climb into the locker. Look. Nothing. Instant anxiety. But I hate lockers because, man, it just reminds me of those games where you have to avoid the killer and you end up spending like 20 minutes just hiding in a locker waiting for them to like walk by so you get a chance to like make your exit. 
It's like, dude, I just want to play. I door latch lock is set. Did you guys get that? I door latch lock is set. Am I reading that right or am I having a stroke? Can we unlatch that? There we go. Oh, okay. That's the one from outside. All right. I just need to know where everything is. Oh, there's our flashlight. Cool. Got some WD-40 light bulb in case a light bulb breaks. A little uh, Call of Duty teddy bear Easter egg. If we want to maybe put on some music. Meet our staff. We got Frank, Mike. Oh, we're we're Johnny. All right. So apparently uh, we are Johnny Jesus. And then uh, these guys will probably end up dead at some point. Oh, and then most likely us as well. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. What's his name? Mike. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, bro. A second later and you would have gotten drenched. Oh, I guess it is raining. Yep, saved by the bell. And to top that, my car is in the shop, so I had to take the bus. Anyway, uh, you got plans for tonight? Oh, man, sucks to hear that. Check this out. You know that chick I've been trying to get with? Yeah. Well, guess what? We're meeting up tonight. Uh, congratulations, man. So what's the plan? What's the goddamn plan? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I've never been on a date before. We're meeting up at Paco's Pizza, and then we'll plan the night with pizza sauce all over our face. Oh, crap. I have to go, man. I'll tell you all about tomorrow. Peace out, bro. And we never saw him again. Is he going out the back door? If he goes out the back door, he's getting murdered. It's kind of funny how cartoonish the characters are. Uh, return these. Oh, we can only do one at a time. Let's take the Doritas. Doritas. And we'll put them back first. Looking for the Doritas shelf. Oh, what's this? That's dog food. Where the hell are the, the Doritos? I mean, ahem, Doritas. There's some right there. Oh. Quick stop. How may I help you? Hey, punk. This is Mike. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Did you get dumped already? Me dumped? Nah, man. Wait, Mike doesn't sound right. Mike seems a little off. Listen, I picked up all the inside store trash and placed it in the back room by the exit door. Okay, what's that got to do with me? I was going to take it to the dumpster, but a client walked in and I totally forgot about it. Also, the man's bathroom light bulb is going out and needs to get replaced. Not the men's room, the man's room. Last, Frank told me to remind you about keeping the store clean. Uh, sure. I'll take care of it all, bud. Thank you, bro. Bye. I don't know how to put this thing down. I'm walking around with this bag of Doritos and there's nothing I can do with it. He put the trash by the back door? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. I'll just leave the bag of Doritos right there. And we'll just take this out. How long until you think something happens? Like, we haven't gotten any customers yet. That's when... That's when shit starts getting weird, when people start walking in. I'll just throw this in here. Oh, wait. Okay. No one in the dumpster. Task complete. Should I close that? Dude, if I was making a horror game, right there would have been jump scare number one. Early on, just get the first one out of the way. Open up the dumpster and someone jumps out. And it doesn't even have to be like the monster or the villain. It, it, it could be someone like, Oh man, I, I, I was throwing something away and I dropped my keys in here. Like, you know, someone like pops their head up and scares you, but they're just like a normal person that just for some reason is in the dumpster. Or like, anybody see the finale of Better Call Saul where he was tr like at the end when he was still Gene and he was uh, trying to run from the police and he jumped in that dumpster. Something like that. Maybe a guy who's just running from the law. I don't think we can put this stuff away. It's letting me pick it up. We have to clean the floors too. Let me see if it lets me put this away. Uh, here's these. Oh, there we go. It, let me put that away. Let me go grab that bag of Doritos. Wait, I think a car pulled up. Oh. Okay, there's someone coming in. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. When I, I saw these, I thought those were more of these. All right, what can I do for you? Good evening. That's me. How may I help you tonight? Hi, I would like 20 on pump number two and a pack of Morby's Mint cigarettes. One pack of Morby's Mint Mint coming up, coming right up. Oh, um, Morby's mints. Let me get that for you. I'm assuming the mint ones are the green ones. Does it say mint on them? It doesn't. There you go. Okay, so uh, 20 on pump two and 15.99 for the pack of cigarettes. Is that normal? Man, I remember back in the day they were like, well, like four dollars a pack. I, I've never. My dad, my dad used to smoke. How much? How much were cigarettes back in, like 1995? 
Yeah, four dollars. There you go. Four dollars with tax included. Uh, it is thirty-seven eleven. Here is thirty-seven eleven. Oh, exact change. Have a safe night. All right, we got ketchup. Put you right here, dude. The animations and the like, the the character models and everything. Like they did a really good job on this. Like it's definitely higher end for an indie horror game. I like to see the extra effort. You don't see that too often. We play a lot of shit horror games around here. We play a lot of bad ones. Sometimes we get some good ones. Dude, you know, I work here and I have no idea where this shit goes. That is the result of poor training. I wasn't properly trained. P oh, oh, here we go. Some fresh smile toothpaste. And finally, some actual dog food. All right, uh, I think we just have to clean the floor. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, the men's bathroom light. All right, let's do that. So the utility closet was over here. We're gonna grab this light bulb. Wait, I didn't read the, the rest of that. Does it say clean the floors? Is that one of the main, oh, just maintain a clean store. Quick stop, how may I help you? Ahem, uh, quick stop, how may I help you? Hello? Greetings. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Uh, my name is Johnny. Is there anything I can help you with, Satan? Are you still there? Nice to meet you, Johnny. Uh, sure. Whatever. Good talk. Okay. I, th I thought maybe he'd be standing behind us. Okay, men's bathroom. We'll head over here. And just a quick swap. Okay. Well, that worked. I should let Frank know that we ran out of light balls when he comes in in the morning. Task completed. Spoiler alert. I don't think Frank's coming in. I think we're going to find Frank's dead body on the roof or something. Dude, every time I walk by that, it scares the shit out of me. Mr. Mike. Little lazy, but great friend. The boss, a.k.a. Frank. Cool guy, but it's hard to tell when he's joking. And then there's... Yep, I look good. <laughs> yep, yep. Look at that sexy motherfucker. Okay, maintain a clean store. Let's get the... Let's get the mop or a broom or whatever the hell it was. Oh, uh, it's a broom. Did I hear someone come in? I thought I heard the door. I do see a car pulling up. I could have sworn I heard the door. All right. Oh, just that easy. All right, now we definitely have another customer. Oh, cheese curls, excellent choice. He's like, do you mind? Oh, and a case of beer, let's go. And where's the party at? What's up, buddy? How much for a pack of beers and a bag of chips? Uh, the beer pack is $14.99. Dude, the, the case of beer is cheaper than the pack of cigarettes. And the bag of chips is $2.99. That'll be a total of $19.24 with tax added. Damn. That's overpriced. I guess that's what you get when, uh, when the next stop is about an hour away. Anyway, here's your 1924. Back to work, back to work. Oh God, what's that smell? I should look around and find the cause. Sounds like you got a dead mouse in the ventilation system. Investigate the smell. Let me just finish this. Let's focus on the task at hand. And then I'll check the men's room. We were just in the men's room and I, we didn't see any customers come in. Then we'll check the ladies' room. See if any ladies dropped the... <laughs> Took a massive shit and forgot to flush. <sighs> okay, heading over to the bathrooms. It says yuck. That stench is coming from the ladies' room. And I, I gotta go grab the broom. All right, let's let's uh, let's check the ladies' room. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm genuinely concerned about what we're gonna find in here because I, I have no idea what it's gonna be. Is it a dead body? Is, do you think it's a dead body or do you think it's a toilet full of shit? Okay, good news, no dead bodies. What is 
is it? I, I, I can't even tell what it is. The fuck is that? That's what I'm asking. I should fix this immediately or the entire store will smell like crap. I believe I saw a plunger in the broom closet. I tried to be proactive. I tried to grab the, the plunger and it wouldn't let me. What is that? Hang on, let me get a closer look here. Is it like a, a bag or something? Ah, dude, I don't know. All right, let's go get that plunger. An old midnight shift. Did Mike do anything the entire shift? Floors look like hell. We got mysterious lumps of something in the women's room. I'm both amazed and disgusted. Okay, good. That went down. Either way, I'm sure it must have hurt. Oh, well, I should put this plunger back where I found it. Okay. Okay. I Something has to happen. We're, we're overdue for a jump scare for sure. And fixing that probably triggered some, some event. Maintain a clean store is okay. Is that job never done? Oh, oh no, it's not done because we have a few more uh, floors to clean in the bathrooms. All right, I think someone just pulled up. I heard a ding. Oh yeah, here's a cup. There we go. Task completed. All right, so the whole place is clean. I don't think that's the sound of the van. I think that's creepy music playing because of the van. Like, I thought at first that was the motor running. Let, let me go out here and just see what's up. <laughs> let, let, let me just go say hi. Dude, imagine if they just hopped out and abducted me. Excuse me, can I help you guys? Excuse me. Hey, you can't park here. Yeah, you gotta pick a spot or get out. It's probably them on the phone. Uh, quick stop, how may I help you? Uh, please ignore the creepy music playing in the background. It's not me. Hi, Johnny. Uh, is there anything I can help you with, sir? <laughs> yes. I would like to speak with your co-worker. Is he there now? Oh, you mean Mike? Yeah, he works uh, He works different hours, so you'll have to call back at 8 a.m. for Frank, Frank and 5 p.m. for Mike. <sighs> I'm very happy to hear that you're all alone. Now listen very closely. My ex is thirsty. And I believe your blood will surely quench its thirst. Oh, uh, what the? What is wrong with you? Like, do you want to buy some gas or a bag of chips? Maybe, uh, maybe a hot dog off the roller over there? Get the hell out of here before I call the cops, you f***ing nerd. We'll have to work on fixing that attitude, Johnny. See you soon. Creepy son of a bitch. No way, if the van drives away, I'm gonna say that was him. No, he's still hanging out. Yeah, f you. Yeah, f you. Yeah, you're not so tough driving that little yellow van. Hey, get back here. Dude, I would imagine that working the night shift at a convenience store at a gas station, something like that would happen and you're not even surprised. Like, like that's just another day on the job. Like th this guy in the yellow van talking about his ax, like he thinks he's all badass and shit. Meanwhile, he's talking to an employee at a, you know, that works the, the midnight shift at a convenience store, at a gas station, like as if he's not conditioned for this kind of stuff. As if he doesn't deal with this shit all the time. You think you're special? You think you're special because you have a fucking ax and you wanna be a serial killer? F you, man, I deal with this shit all the time. You ain't nothing. Hello? How may I help you? Oh, thank God. Uh, hi, this is Frank. Just checking how every how is everything. Uh, hey there, boss. Everything is cool. Perfect. That's what I like to hear. Hey, listen. Don't forget to replace the bags of the four gas station trash containers and the uh, and the two outside the store. 
Yesterday, nobody took care of them, and the trash was overflowing when I got there. God damn, Mike. Uh, shit like that shouldn't happen, so please take care of it. Got it, boss. Is there anything else I can... Uh, anything else you need? Nope, that's all. I swear to God, Mike doesn't do anything around here. This is all on me. Here we go. Let's see if we can change these ones. Okay. So here's one. The other one doesn't have a trash bag in it. The one that we were throwing the cups and plates into. I just got this weird feeling that we're being watched. I was just checking to see if the yellow van wasn't like parked off in the distance. Bunch of weirdos around here. And this is it. Like this is as fast as I can go. There is no run. <laughs> it's walk or walk. Can we go a little faster? All right, we have one more. One more trash can out here. What was that? I, th I think that was the trash bag, but it sounded like it was coming like off in the distance. Like coming from like behind me. Your blood will quench the thirst of my axe. All right, now we just have these four over here. Is, is it four? Yeah, it's it's four. Wait, can we, maybe we can carry more than one at a time. I doubt it, but I'll, I'll try. No. We need like a cart or something, like a wheelbarrow. Really wish we could run. Really wish we could run. Okay, this is gonna take forever. Mike literally did nothing his entire shift. Okay. Halfway there. Oh. The hell is that? Calling the cops. What, what was it? I didn't see it. What the hell was it? What was it? Did anybody see it? The noise got me, but I, I didn't see what the hell it was. I, I heard something like crackling over there. I, I said I'm calling the cops, but I'd like to finish this job first. Yeah, there could be a murderer walking around, but I got some trash to put away. Kind of looked like a dude in a scream mask. Oh my God. Oh, it, it was just the, the typical dumpster crackhead. Oh, okay. So nothing to worry about. I'm being stalked by the, the short bus killer. That's what's going to read in the paper. Short bus killer strikes again. Damn it. I wish I could have seen what that was. All right. Task complete. And let's go call the cops. What if he snuck inside the store when I was taking out the trash? Uh, I would like to report a very odd and creepy activity. Okay. Please tell me what's the emergency. Okay, so uh, I'm in the midnight shift, right? I'm a midnight shift attendant at the quick stop gas station. I saw a guy with a mask in the woods looking straight at me. I also believe this is the same guy that's been calling the store and threatening me. He even drove into the parking lot with a yellow van and parked out front of the store for a while, but never got out. As you can imagine, uh, this shit isn't normal. Please send help ASAP. Uh, got it. I will note your call and relay it to the closest deputy to your location. Please stay put inside the store and call back immediately if the situation escalates. Thank you. And please tell the officer to hurry. I'm about to shit my pants. Uh, please remain calm. The deputy would be, uh, should be arriving soon. Uh, think, think fast. I'm not going to make it. I can't crouch. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Wish I could play some games on my phone while I'm sitting here. Oh, 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 oh man, I shit on the floor. Damn it. I just cleaned this place. Should I go wait outside for this guy? I'm staying inside for now. As I started to walk outside, I remember that she told me to stay inside. Here, let me, uh, let me arm myself with some ketchup and mustard. He comes at me with the ax. I squirt ketchup and mustard in his eyes. I, t I take his ax, turn the tables, boom. I, I chop him. I create my own ketchup with his blood. Here we go, home alone style. I steal some money from the register. I extract about 20 gumballs, throw them all over the floor so that when he runs inside to kill me, he slips on, on, on the balls, okay? Slips and trips on the balls, falls, hurts his back, can't get up. I grab his ax that is now laying on the ground several feet away from his body. Boom, I hit him, I win. But then he can sue for damages? I'm not the owner, I just work here. Wait, is the van back? Okay. 
slips on the balls, hurts his balls. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta fight balls with balls. Let's see what you got here. Hello, how you doing tonight? Well, I'm good, but uh, I almost hit some crazy guy on the way here. Some guy wearing a scream mask. Picture this, he was running around like a crazy man in the middle of the road. Good thing I was already slowing down to turn into the gas station. I did call the cops because some asshole is messing with me. I wonder if it's the same guy. They should be here any minute. I thought I heard the cops. I heard a siren. Oh yeah, here he is, here he is, here he is. He gets out of his car and like tells this guy, get on the ground. No, that's not the, that's not the guy. <laughs> or the cop gets out and as he's walking to the door, the killer jumps out and kills the cop. Ah, Officer Stone Cold Steve Austin. Glad you can make it. Hi there. Uh, I'm here about a recent call to the emergency hotline. There's a crazy guy with a white mask harassing me. I saw him last in the woods by the garbage dumpster. Got it. I will go ahead and take a quick look around the premise. Great. Thank you. Oh, dude. I'm. He's probably going to kill this guy. Like, this guy is our is our only hope. It's going to be one of those situations where it's like, he's been out there for a while. Wait, can we actually go out? Oh, come on! The, the cop's here. We're good. Dude, it would be so creepy to... Like, see the dude, like, hop the fence. Like, come out of the woods and just attack the cop. I keep waiting for something to happen to the cop. Doop -a doop doop do Just make my rounds. All right. Well, if he gets murdered, he's out of sight. Let's see if we can go out this door. Should I lock that? Dude, I wanna, I'm, I'm getting antsy. I'm getting antsy being forced to stay inside. Come on, cop. <gasps> Did you see this? Look at, look at this, look at this. Weapon fire, reload weapon. I don't have a gun. There's no gun in the store. Dude, what if he, what if he kills the cop and then we, we have to find the cop's gun. Like we, fi we find the cop's dead body and then we take, we take the gun from the cop and then we have to fight this guy. Quick stop, how may I help you? Why are you making this difficult? There was no reason to call the pigs. Uh, what? <laughs> Screw you, man. Oh, Johnny, I'm gonna have fun with you. Anyway, I have to let you go for now. I hear the pig getting closer. Screw you, man. You're going to jail. Yeah, the cop's dead. Oh. What the hell was that? Dude, I heard gunshots. I hope the sergeant is fine. We just heard a scream and gunshots. I hope he's fine. What the? Dude, I'm running to the bus stop. First chance I get. As if the bus is just gonna like show up randomly just in time to pick me up. I'm getting out of here. I, I like beeline it to the bus stop and I have to sit at the bus stop for like 45 minutes and wait for the bus. All right, so I think my prediction was correct. Oh, dude. I don't know if you guys could hear that. There was a hacking, a hacking sound. I think the, I think the cop just got chopped up. Can we go, can we go look at this real quick? I'm, I'm still staying inside. We're all dead. We're all dead. Frank's gonna find us in the morning. We're all dead. Man, he's been gone for a while. I hope he's okay. Do you think there's multiple endings? There hasn't been a lot of choice involved. Sometimes when, you know, when, when a game has like several, di several different choices to make, it usually means like, oh! What's the deal with that guy? I would be more concerned about where's the cop? Hey, you get back here. <laughs> Catch me if you can. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I said I would have fun with you, Johnny. What, did you think I was going to murder you? I'm here to play tag, specifically freeze tag. I don't have many friends and I don't get out much. I genuinely just want to have fun with you. <laughs> ah! I should have taken the food, the food delivery job instead. 
Yeah, yeah, because driving to the serial killer's house is even better. At least we have home field advantage here. Kinda. Says the pussy who's backed into the corner. Not sure what to do. Oh, God. I would call the cops, but... <laughs> I'm staying inside for now. Dude, we're dead, man. Wait, what am I doing? I have a flashlight. <laughs> oh, man, he's inside. I never locked that door. I never locked that door. Or did I? Okay. Oh, my God. Maybe maybe there is multiple endings. I'm going to leave that open for, for easy access. Did I lock the door? No! Oh, it's too late. Dude, he's in the store. We're dead. As if he can't just walk in the front door. Ah, I locked the door. He can't come in here. Ding dong. Shit. It's always amazing, like, when the power goes out in these games that the, the you know, the sliding glass doors still work. Must be on a backup generator. Well, what now? I don't know. If this guy's in here, I don't know where he is. I heard the bell. I heard it. I heard the doors open. He'll never check here. The killer will never check in the only hiding spot in the entire store. We should be safe. Sir, we're closed. Oh, he's in the store. He's definitely in the store. Oh my God. Dude, how are games that look like this? Like the, the scariest or, or give off like the creepiest vibes of any horror game. He's like ultra pixelated VHS looking games are always the creepiest. They have no business being this creepy. All right, well, here we go. Maybe he's taking a massive shit, you know? I don't know if you guys know this, serial killers, they have they have to use the bathroom too. They they also use the bathroom. All right, this is it. This is it. <sighs> Nothing. So where is he? Oh no, I forgot about the maintenance closet. Fuck, come on! Where are you? Show yourself! I'm right here! Arnold and Predator. I'm right here. Kill me now. Do it. Wait, what's that? Are those blood drops? Where did these come from? The hell? Oh, no. Ah, oh, Officer Stone Cold Steve Austin. They got him. I love how he took the time to put a little smiley face on the box using dude's blood. Like, it's such a nice little touch. I can't believe this. This guy is really f***ing crazy. Hold, hold shift to run. There he is. He, he's faster than me. He's gaining on me. I hope we don't run out of stamina. No! Oh, I was so close. I was so, I had the gun. All right, here he comes. He's, he's not that fast. Okay, now that I know where the gun is, is he fast? I gotta look back. He's right behind me, son of a bitch. Shit. Whoa! Come on! 
We got we got 12 out of 14 bullets. What the hell, man? Check this out. Check this out. Where's he at? Here he, here he comes. Check this out. Where do you go behind the store? Can I climb the roof? I don't think so. It didn't give me the option to. Man, well, at least from the very get-go, I had I had the right idea. What in the what in the what in the? There's no way I can't get any distance on him. I don't know. The music stopped. I, I still hear his footsteps. Like I hear the door opening and shutting, but he, uh, his footsteps are right in front of me. He's just running back and forth in this hallway. I did notice that when you get distance on him, the music stops. So I should probably outrun him until we don't hear the music anymore. And then, then go for the gun. Like try and get some distance. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I can't tell if he's in the store, if he's outside. Yeah, he's still in the store. I hear doors. Get the f out! Oh, get the f out! That's bullshit. Oh, we can like, we can go go. And, and now and now we're gone gone i tried i tried to go go and now i'm gone gone at least the whole game's not like this i can appreciate that i don't have a plan he's right behind me no idea how i'm gonna how i'm gonna get that gun no idea let me go this way i'm gonna try and juke him out again like right 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 there i can't i can't grab it <laughs> you man you I, the cursor was right on the gun right on the gun man i got the gun i got the gun i'm just gonna turn around and make some quick shots He's so fast. <laughs> no, we already tried hiding in the locker. <laughs> Bullshit! He's like 10 feet away. I feel like I'm getting slower. Thank God there's no stamina. Okay, this is my strategy. Did he just say, stop it? Stop it. Throw the cop's head at him. He's like, ew. <laughs> He's like, don't do that. You're the one that chopped his head off. Yeah, but I'm a germaphobe. It's the worst combination. He just said, stop. You don't need to pick up the mag. Yeah, I see that. Yep, extra mag by the cop. Good luck though, right?
you, mother. Thank God. <laughs> Die, you mother <laughs> Die. How was, how was, uh, how the fuck was that freak able to take over 10 shots? Well, that doesn't matter. He's dead. Mater. That doesn't mater. He's dead. Anyhow, I should probably get back to work. Nah. <laughs> Anyhow, I should probably get the hell out of here and inform the cops. Uh, Sergeant Smith's patrol car uh, key should be on him. You, I'm not leaving. This guy survived like what? 12 shots? And we're just gonna like walk away as his hand is still on the murder weapon, as his hand is still on the ax. I'm supposed to just walk away, take, I, I, oh my God. I also used all the bullets. I love how his sunglasses are still around his neck. I don't see any keys. Damn. Okay, bud, where'd you put your keys? This is so messed up. Oh, here they are. Time to leave this nightmare. Yeah, I, I realize that now. I was still stuck in like dialogue mode. Oh my God, I'm, I'm calling it right now. The body's gone. The body's gone. We're, we're dead. The body's gone. We get in the car. He's in the fucking back seat. I'm calling it now. He, he's in the back seat. We're dead. We're dead. Wow, we actually got away? Oh! Damn it! Damn it! The Shape Returns by Carl Casey. Wow, okay. Dude, right there, right there. Solid horror game. The only thing that it lacked was like puzzles, but uh, in this game, I didn't really see any room for puzzles, but that was solid. That was solid. A little frustrating on the on the killer, but uh, once we got the hang of it, it wasn't that bad. Uh, it could have been a little creepier. I feel like the look of the NPCs, it kind of took away from the like the horror vibe. Like they almost looked too cartoonish. And then dude dancing on the rooftop at the end just remind me of Fortnite. Other than that, man, solid.